friends. Well, today uh, I made a mistake. I left my Bluetooth headphones in my pocket. And as a result, there was no sound when I went to edit this video. So, yes, we're doing super overdub madness. The lips do not match the sounds. I hope you're okay with that. Um, today we're discussing the Jackery Explorer 240. So the story is, is that uh, I went to um, Chrome's uh, Christmas Eve get-together, and uh, I believe I made a video, and I included a couple clips of the Jackery, and um, I was contacted via Chrome um, or by the Jackery people, and uh, they wanted to offer me a unit and uh, give it kind of a review. So that's what I'm doing. Now, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I really don't do a lot of reviews. Um, but I kind of made an exception in this case because I think this unit is very useful to van dwellers. Um, you can never really have too much power, um, especially where I live in the Pacific Northwest. Vancouver, BC, uh, it's overcast a lot and power is always a challenge. Um, so the good thing about this thing is, uh, it's really light. It's like six pounds, stick it in your backpack. I can charge it at my ex-wife's so I'm looking after my kids or wherever I am, I can plug it in and charge it. It's a 16.8 amp hour lithium battery. Um, and uh, that's good. It's, uh, you know, good quality. It's light. Um, so it's very useful in that way. Uh, so what I plan to do is I plan to uh, try to hook it into uh, my solar system um, via my fuse panel and uh, charge it off my 150 watt panel during the daytime. And then at night I will unplug it. Um, um, and what I'm going to do, I'm hoping to uh, to do, is power my fridge off this thing. My fridge, the truck fridge, uh, is about 13 amps, amp hours I should say. And the Jackery is 16.8. So I should be able to use it, charge my fridge off of this thing. So hopefully the uh, Jackery will fit that need well. I can also use it um, in my future van build uh, as a way of portable power uh, for lights and music and things like that. Another thing, um, what I have been doing is I've been using this $50 uh, inverter from Walmart, uh, but it's pretty junky. And um, when I plug in my uh, speakers uh, for playing bass guitar, there's a lot of crackling and kind of electrical noise. Um, because it's a $50 inverter, so don't expect miracles. So I'm hoping um, I can plug my speakers into the Jackery, and uh, it'll be a lot better. So let's take a look at the unboxing and uh, discuss some of the features. All right, guys, we're going to unbox this Jackery Explorer 240. Where's my keys? Falling out of my pockets. Need my trusty Swiss Army knife thing. So you get this case. I don't know what that's for. What do you put in there? Interesting. in this box. Cable. Switching power adapter. 3.5 amps, 12 volts. There's another little box. This one looks bigger. Actually, it's not bigger. It's the same size. Okay, 
cable. It's like a alternating current a pluggy thing. And then there's a 12 volt cigarette style lighter plug. I think this, I think you can charge it off your uh, alternator with this by plugging into the cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter and then plugging this into the unit. And just looks like a big enchilada is coming out here. Couple foam pieces. Nothing else in the box. Okay. Here's the back, nothing on it whatsoever. Completely empty. This looks like some kind of air vent. Nothing on that side. Another air vent on this side. Nothing on the bottom, but some pretty good rubber feet. They're pretty sticky. And on the bottom it says model Jackery Explorer 240. Capacity lithium ion 16.8 amp hours at 14.4 volts and brackets it says 240 watt hours. Hmm. Operating temperature between 0 and 40 Celsius. Okay, here is the display. Let's see what happens if this thing's plugged in. Ooh, it does have something going on there. It says input 0 watts. And there's 33% battery capacity at this point. And um, so we have the input. I think, like I said, this was your cigarette lighter thingy plugs in. So you can plug it off your as you're driving. That's really handy, actually. So if you're on a, taking a uh, drive, you can just charge it as you're driving. It has two USC, USB... Uh, um, outputs 2.4 amps this is good because 2.4 amps charges pretty fast um, typical uh, USB outlet like the cigarette style lighter is um, 2.1 to 1 amps so this is 2.4 amps so that's a, a lot lighter I mean a lot better so it should charge well and then you have the uh, 110 volt plug in. I guess this goes in there. If you want to plug in an appliance. And uh, that's at 200 watts. Anyways guys, it's a nice looking unit. It's about 3 kilograms, around 6.5 pounds. It's pretty light. It's good because you can haul this around and it's not going to break your arm. You easily stick it in a backpack. Stuff like that. So, I'm going to charge this up, and then I'm going to come back and uh, talk about my experiences. By the way, I'm guessing that this uh, thing is for all the cables to go in. So that's handy. I can stick all this stuff in the same little thingy. Very... Uh, my lexicon is improving dramatically. The thingy. <laughs> there you go, look at that. All ticky poo. And this is a uh, 24 hour limited war 24 month limited warranty, it says. Lifetime technical support. www.jackery.com. So to charge it, you have a number of options. You can charge it with a solar panel, and it'll take between 8 to 10 hours. Um, I believe you would want to use a 50-watt panel minimum. Uh, obviously, the higher the wattage of the panel, the faster it's going to charge. And 8 to 10 hours charging in full sun. Um, then you have the AC plug, where you plug it into your uh, wall outlet, and that'll take 7 hours. And then... You can plug it into your car port of your cigarette out, your cigarette lighter thingy, 
and that'll take seven hours. So that's quite a bit of driving. You're driving for seven hours before it's charged. Now, in terms of what kind of output it will give, um, how long your devices will last, it will last for 40 hours with a five watt light. It will charge a phone 20 times. That's the average phone, I assume. And you will get three plus hours of watching a 32 inch um, TV. I assume that's the uh, flat screen style. And to charge a laptop, you'll get three charges of a standard laptop. And if you have like a car cooler kind of uh, cooler thing that you plug into your second lighter, that will this unit, the Jackery, will uh, charge it for six hours, keep it cold for six hours. So some other things it says on the box, it says it's a portable power station, can be carried anywhere, provide charging anytime, and get recharging easily from compatible solar charger. The battery is a lithium ion capacity 16.8 amp hours. The dimensions are 9 by 5.2 by 7.8 inches. And yeah, all that other stuff I've already said. Oh, well, there you have it, uh, the Jacker Explorer 240. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a couple weeks and uh, try to use this thing. Um, and then I'll give you a review of I, how I think it performs. You know, if you ever go on Amazon and you read the reviews, um, sometimes the guy will say, oh, I've had it for four hours and this is what I think about it. Um, and I'm like, well, you haven't really spent much time with it. I mean, how long have you... Uh, how can you have a proper uh, assessment if you don't really know it that well? So I'll give it a couple of weeks with the Jackery and uh, let you know my thoughts. Thanks for watching and be well, my friends.